Hey, a culture's job is not to make you and your team feel good. Culture's job is to set the standards. That's where the expectations for your teams come from. There are two simple pathways that are gonna help you develop a great work environment. The first, you have to start by defining what your values are. Make sure that they resonate with you and your team. Because remember, your team needs to be involved because people help support what they help create. And this is where the standards come in. Once you create those values, define them and define them clearly. Make sure everyone understands them. Then you're gonna create three to five behavior examples to model what good looks like. Next, you're gonna develop relationships that make your organization a very collaborative environment. And that's an environment where ideas flow and innovation happens. This will require your time. I know, I know, none of us have enough time in the day. But instead of complaining about the lack of time that you have, focus on eliminating the low value activities where you currently spend your time and replace them with higher value activities like spending time with your team because there's nothing more important. When I work with leaders, one of the first things that I do is I say, hey, pull out your laptop, let's take a look at your calendar. And we try to eliminate as many low value activities as possible. Being busy isn't a badge of honor, so stop pretending it is. Being productive with outcomes is king. Create a culture that thrives on different perspectives, that thrives on different perspectives and open communication. You have to establish transparent communication channels, promoting trust and alignment. The only possible way is by creating standards and by developing deeper relationships. There are no silver bullets. Just make sure you're not using golden BBs.